Peter and Chibosiako Amoa. So Amoa is my surname, and Chibosiako, finally, is um, my first name. It's other people's surname, anyway. And so I work with the Environmental Protection Agency, and I've been working with this agency since July 2005. Basically, I work with a climate change unit. I'm a deputy director at the moment. Um, and I lead climate change adaptation and all other issues related to climate vulnerability and impacts. Currently, I'm also a project coordinator for the national adaptation plans that Ghana government is coordinating. EPA, in fact, le led by myself, and then also um, together with NADMO and then NDPC, NDPC's National Development Planning Commission actually developed um, a mainstreaming tool for disaster risk reduction and climate change. And so we work hand in hand because their objective as disaster people is to make sure that um, if possible you prevent it, but when it occurs you reduce the impact. Basically that is also our objective. The impact that associated with climate change, we also support systems or um, communities to be able to adapt to the impact of climate change. So we work hand in hand on a common objective. This institution is, is a regulatory institution. And so basically whatever we do are related to policies, development of um, actions, building capacities, and then also creating awareness so that people will be aware of the situation we don't mainly do interventions on the ground like constructing drainage systems or maybe building dams and so on and so forth. We work with policies and so um, to be precise, we have worked, one of them is what I mentioned, developing a mainstreaming guide that will help sectors because all sectors have something to do, water, agriculture, energy and then the environment sector itself. So you have a tool that build the capacity of the assemblies at the sub-national level. So if they, they want to do step by step how to actually mainstream climate change adaptation and disaster risk into their development agenda, they will be guided by this toolkit or this mainstreaming tool. Um, people actually know, don't build here. This is a road. And then they put a structure there because they know somebody. Um, People actually know that you shouldn't throw garbage into the drainage system because it will choke the gutter and when it rains, the place can get flooded. And they continue doing that. Um, that is from the side of the people. When it comes to us as um, sectors that are working for government, I think enforcement has also been very weak because we have not been able to enforce the laws the way they're supposed to be based on some other factors that I mentioned. I know this, I know that. Sometimes it's also borders on logistics to actually go to the field to actually enforce some of these laws. And so, yes, the, the products have been produced, but then in terms of its effectiveness on the ground, it is not as it is expected. It doesn't mean nothing is working on the ground. Things are working, but not as effective as it's supposed to be. Logistics, um, <clears throat> that in terms of what you need to take to the field, it's a challenge. Um, in terms of capacity, even by the sectors, to actually understand what disaster related issues are and what actions they're supposed to take. Because if you don't have the capacity, you wouldn't be able to actually um, take action. And so capacity at all levels. I know some of these actions normally happen at the sub-national level, at the local community level, and the capacity at these levels are very low. Um, the biggest of all is financing, in fact, um, financial support to be able to put up systems, um, the kind of investment that you need to be able to um, address some of these impacts are not actually forthcoming. So the challenges are many, but basically it's about um, financing, it's about awareness, it's about Logistics is about um, uh, what do you call human capacity. If you look at the thematic focuses of the Sendai framework, 
but from Hugo framework then we moved on to the sun die I think um, the sun die talks about um, mainly focusing on the prevention aspects because if you're able to prevent some of these things it will be able to reduce the impact when they occur and so on paper and I choose my words carefully on paper some of these things that we are talking about are very well in line with the sun die framework in fact they are coherent but probably the issue has to do with what I mentioned when it comes to the implementation aspect. First of all, we need to decentralize um, disaster risk reduction issues. What, what do I mean by decentralizing? Making sure that, of course, NADMO is in every district, but in most of the cases that I have been, um, it is just a representation of people in offices. They don't have the logistics to actually deal with early warning systems when they're supposed to happen. And so if you really want to um, reduce the impact or risk at the local level, then you need to actually empower the communities to be able to do that. That's the first thing. The second thing is resource them. And that's part of the empowerment that we're talking about. Let them get the needed logistics and funding to be able to also um, what do you call take action and my last recommendation would be the enforcement of the laws that we have as a country we're not doing bad when it comes to developing policies and laws we have quite a number of them that are very instructive the issue has always been how do we get the content of these policies um, on the ground and so if enforcement could be um, one of the key areas that we should focus on we should be able to. If the law says somebody builds in a waterway, demolish, you demolish. There's nothing like um, come and let's discuss and so we see what we can do about it. The law says building in waterways means that the structure will be demolished. And it has to be. Don't sell on a gutter because selling on a gutter means that the probability of you putting waste into the gutter is very high. So don't sell there. Don't sit there and sell. And it's only enforcement that can actually um, empower people to be able to understand some of these things and take them away from there. So that would be my catchword, enforcement. <laughs>